My name is Kai Bird. I'm a biographer and historian. I've written six books. I was very lucky to win the Pulitzer Prize in 2006 for a biography I co-authored with Martin Sherwin on J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb. I've always picked sort of 20th century American political figures to write about, and I think biography is the best history. We have just put together an extraordinary, wholly unique program that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world where we're going to be teaching the art and craft of biography and awarding two-year master's degrees in biography and memoir. The first class is going to be inaugurated in September of 2019. There'll be 10 to 15 students and very small classes with very intensive mentoring by professors and working biographers. And I think it's going to change the, the nature of how biography is written and published. I'm the executive director of the Leon Levy Center for Biography. Its main mission is to promote and legitimize the art of biography within the academy. Every year we award five very substantial fellowships, $72,000, to working biographers. Some of them are academics, some of them are journalists, some of them are young first-time writers. The program has been going for 11 years and we've already published almost 20 books. The Leon Levy Center is sponsoring a panel on David's book, but tonight he will conduct a conversation with Jeffrey Stewart about and this life. program, it also has a public face in the university. Generally speaking, when you, you know, write about a black life, your editors and, you know, publishers want you to, okay, let's just get this done. I mean, the level of complexity that you brought to W.B. Du Bois opened it up. We put on 10 to 15 public events a year. Through an enormous number of circumstances, I tracked down said collector of the letters. And I was told that I could come to visit him if I agreed to come with an intermediary in a car that would pick me up in front of my apartment in Paris, but I was not to ask any questions or the identity of the, the person or where I was being taken. I didn't count on that when I went to biography school. So and this biography program has sort of been the anchor for CUNY's approach to the subject. And suddenly we thought, well, why not put it into a real academic curriculum with four core classes, the survey and biography, both literary and historical. The student can choose either track. Then there's a methodology and research course, writing and style, and then ethical problems in biography. Aside from those four courses, students will be encouraged to take electives that are compatible with their interests, so psychology or physics if they're studying a scientist. This is one of the nation's largest public universities. We have literally hundreds of faculty who have deep expertise in different fields. So it's a very multidisciplinary approach. Biography is a popular genre these days, but uh, a lot of people just don't understand how rigorous it is. One of the differences between studying biography or getting a master's in English literature or a master's in fine arts, you'll be asked to document your sources. You'll learn how to write from archival letters, diaries. Great biographers are sort of portrait artists armed with footnotes. It's very arduous because you're delving into a whole life, so you have to put the life in context. It's both politics, it's history, it's culture, it's psychology. You'd study a little bit of all of these things, and you'll be taught how to write succinctly and colorfully. Um, you know, we want to produce students whose writings are read. I think there'll be a range of students who'll be good for this program. Some of them may be mid-career people fascinated either with a particular biographical subject or perhaps they want to do a memoir. And there'll be also students of literature, a range of young and old. And if you are looking to get into the world of publishing or writing, you know, we're here in New York City, the publishing capital of the world. So it's a good synergy, I think, for studying biography. I think the graduates of a master's program in biography will fall into a range of careers. Some will become journalists, some may become book editors, some will become ghost writers, some may become working biographers. They'll take their master's thesis and turn it into a book proposal and sell it and get a contract. 
it will quickly be come clear to employers out there that this is a program that they can look to to find people who know how to write.